Hey guys, Aaron Classic Gamer, we just picked up Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. But first, I figured we would take a look at the masterpiece intro of Link's Awakening on the Game Boy in all its glory. Definitely tough to see. It was re-released on the Game Boy Color and also the Game Boy Advance. And now we get it in all its uh, HD glory on the Nintendo Switch. All that 8 bit glory coming out of that little speaker. Tons and tons of fun, guys, from the childhood. Really enjoyed playing this game. Eventually played it on the Game Boy Advance SP. Not, uh, and actually beat it. This cartridge actually will still uh, hold a, uh, a charge, which will save the game, which is really cool. But I just wanted to kind of reminisce a little bit and take a look at what it actually looked like on the Game Boy way back when. So it's crazy how far we've come. So we'll do a quick cut, and then we'll check out what it looks like, the original game anyway, with a backlit... Uh, screen on on the Game Boy Advance SP so you can check it out uh, and probably the best uh, way you can actually see it aside from putting it into the GameCube attachment or on the Super Game Boy on the Super Nintendo so alright guys we'll cut and we'll check it out on the Game Boy Advance SP alright guys let's take a look at the Game Boy Advance SP we'll pop it up to uh, full screen there Put that down, we won't have as much uh, reflection. Now this is with the backlit part of the screen on. Definitely can see it a lot better. The screen size is virtually double from that of the Game Boy. Which you wouldn't believe that, but uh, really is. Check that out. Listen to the actual speakers of the Game Boy Advance SP. Slight upgrades to the uh, sound to the SP, so it does sound a little bit better than it would have on the Game Boy. Uh, the original Game Boy, that is. This is without the light. Very dark. And there we go. Just wanted to kind of take a look at where the series had came from and how I had played the game way back when, back in 93, 94, on the original Game Boy. And then later again on the Game Boy Advance SP, I never did get the DX version on the Game Boy Color or the upgraded uh, Game Boy Advance uh, version, but uh, I did play the original. It was a lot of fun, guys. All right. Next, we'll do a quick unboxing of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, guys. We'll see you in just a minute. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. Here is the intro screen right here on the Nintendo Switch. We're going to use our handy-dandy knife to go ahead and open this up and take a look at what is included. So we got The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. Beautiful, beautiful artwork, guys, as this game has been updated from the Game Boy version here that you see playing below. So... Really cool. The bar box art here it just says Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Of course, published by Nintendo. No surprises there. 
And then it says, Far from Hyrule with No Way Home. Alright, the shipwrecked Link finds himself on a strange and wondrous island of Colini. Only by exploring caves and shrines for clues to the island's mysteries can he make his escape. When one tool won't do, try two together. You can use bows, bombs, pegasus boots, and rock's feather. Arrange play and trade your own character dungeons. So a lot of cool different things there. There is an amiibo that was released for that, for this game, which I hope to find one day. Uh, this is playable in one player and TV, tabletop, and portable mode. Also is Nintendo Switch Pro controller compatible. Rated E for everyone due to mild fantasy violence. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open it up here. Nothing like struggling with plastic. That ought to be like a, a subtitle of uh, this channel here. Let's see, how can he be a total jackass and ruin opening a game? All right, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's beautiful. Check out the island there. Island Koheny. And there's the cartridge. Nothing too special. You just have a little link right there. That's really cool, guys. Too bad it didn't come with any uh, limited edition booklets or like a, a Game Boy recap. Would have been really cool. We're going to go ahead, guys, and throw this game up on the big screen. And uh, we'll take a look at the opening gameplay. All right. What a beautiful game, guys. Hey guys, so here we are. Uh, we're on the Nintendo eShop channel real quick. Figured I'd show you guys some of the screenshots of the uh, the game here. Absolutely beautiful and very vibrant. Of course, that's what we had on the Nintendo Switch when we were doing the quick unboxing. Let's go ahead and check out the description below. It says, Castaway, you should know the truth. As Link, you awaken in a strange land, away from Hyrule, where animals talk and monsters roam. To uncover the truth behind your whereabouts and rouse a legendary windfish, explore Coalent Island and all its trap-ridden dungeons. Reimagined in stunning detail for this new release of one of the most beloved, The Legend of Zelda games. Along the way, you'll meet a hilarious assortment of charming characters to which you'll never want to say goodbye. In this new version of the game, the classic soundtrack has been re reborn with new arrangements, and now you can equip more items at once, review key conversations, and navigate the map in new ways. Try your hand at the renovated mini games to earn dolls based on the Super Mario series or chamber stones. These unusual stones can be used to arrange your own chamber dungeons. Each one is a puzzle in and of itself. Place chambers from dungeons found throughout the game on a series of objective base grids. Where should the bosses go? How do you get from the entrance to the stairwell? They're your dungeons, so arrange them however you see fit. To earn more chamber stones, you must conquer the main adventures, dungeons, and many games. Or tap any amiibo featuring a The Legend of Zelda character to unlock chambers exclusive to amiibo. Alright, that's pretty cool. Alright, and of course we have the uh, physical version, so we're not going to do any of that download stuff. Alright, we'll go back to the home screen, and here is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Let's go ahead and launch it. Let's take a look here. It's amazing that this game has uh, went across so many different platforms. Of course, the life of the Game Boy series. The Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, and the Game Boy Advance. Let's check out this beautiful intro, guys. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Very brief, but uh, uh, real to the series. I mean, uh, definitely a really cool reimagining of uh, the original.
intro to the game. There's our mountain top with uh, the egg on top. So many mysteries to unlock, guys. thought pan flute would have sounded good. <laughs> Just awesome, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and press LR here in just a second. Oh, it just starts over again. Do a new game. Let's see, that's a classic difficulty level. Take twice as much damage. No hard drops for advanced players. No thank you. A classic difficulty level. Enter your name. Will be Link. No sense in messing with a legend. People keep talking about the Legend of Zelda <sighs> Link to the Past might be remade. I don't know. To me, that game's perfect. I hope it's not, but uh, let's keep our mind on uh, what's here at hand here. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name is Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. Alright. You're in Kola Lent Island. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you watched the shore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful. Taryn, hope you're feeling better. Alright. There's our high lane shield. Hold R to repel enemies with it. We are a walking tank. So let's make it down to the shoreline, guys, and that'll be the end of our video. And playing A Link to the Past on... Uh, Oh man, this is breathtaking. Look at this. <laughs> Whoa! There go find a fairy. <laughs> Oh no! Wear sea urchins, don't touch them with your bare hands. Alright, so I thought you could move them, but I could not remember. Whoa. I'm here! Oh, there's her sword. Awesome. There it is. The master sword. And there's that owl. Hoot, hoot, so you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are star starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It's said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I wait for you there. Hoot. Alright, let's get our sword and kick some ass here. Alright. Found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. Alright. You can swing it with B to attack any animals in your path. So we have to go to the mysterious area to the north. There's that darn alligator. Wow. 
All right. Let's go back to the north, guys. All right, we get our first ruby. Pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Dead end. It is amazing how much this it is like like the original game. It's it's they did a lot of a lot of care. That's for sure. Quite surprised, guys. Absolutely beautiful. A little bit of slowdown here and there. This must be the mysterious area to the north. The mysterious forest. Moblins ahead. They're not friendly. Mysterious forest. There's the owl. Welcome to the Spirit's Forest. Much of the mystery you will find on this uncharted Colent Island. I'm afraid you may, not, may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the wind fish snaps. By the by. Have you ever visited a tail cave which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in the forest. The wind fish is watching. Hooch. Hoot hoot. <laughs> Cracks don't get too comfortable in them. All right. there. I guess we can push this one up, but I don't know. Too heavy. Where are we at now? Alright. Look at the toadstool as you hold it over your head and Hello, aroma flows into your nostrils. the mystery. We went the wrong way. Uh, 
Piece of power, you can feel the energy flowing through you. Take that! And that! Some gloves. This is the next logical place we can go to. This witch here. It's a sleepy toadstool that does. Well, mix it up with something in a jiffy, we will. Alright. What could it be? Take care, as there's much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? Alright. That's magic powder. Open the sub screen with plus and set it to either X or Y. right where we started. sensitive to stuff with dust and powder. Biting into a big juicy toadstool, then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was fun. He's all uh. tuckered out. He better set a spell. All right, guys. Well, looks like we're getting somewhere. All right, we got our key. Okay, now you can open the tail cave gate. All right. Here comes the owl. Hoot. 
Take the key and go to Tail Cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The wind fish is waiting. Hoot. Alright. This game is absolutely charming, guys. Alright, the game is saving. So I think we're going to go ahead and end it there, guys. Yes, I don't think we can get any farther without being able to jump. Alright. Can't beat that. But well, we just saved, guys, so that's going to be it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. As always, peace and happy gaming. Thank <laughs> you.